What's going on guys? It's the one round Raikou and today we are here with the Elite Trainer Box for Pokemon Celebration, the 25 year anniversary of Pokemon set, Do Hicker Majiggy. That's really hard to get and really expensive and I managed to get two of them. We're only going to open one Elite Trainer Box per video, so one per today and one in the next video probably after this. And uh, we'll see what we get. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. It's like the, I think the anniversary, the uh, Celebration side set in there that has other it's it's a whole big set full of crazy stuff and uh i am excited so <clears throat> celebrate the pokemon tcg celebrate the greatest moments of pokemon over 25 years of of, uh, of pokemon over 25 years of adventures alongside fairs like from mewtwo and Ho-Oh to lunala and zamazenta an awesome parade of po a legendary Pokemon appears and famous Pokemon from air of God, they word it so weird. An awesome parade of legendary Pokemon appears and famous Pokemon from the very beginning return to join your collection. You can even find Flying Pikachu and Surfing Pikachu as both Pokemon V and Pokemon V Max. Join the party with the Pokemon TCG Celebrations expansion. It includes 10 packs, 5 additional, or... Oh, it comes with regular packs, too. I didn't even realize that. So, ten Celebrations packs, five additional booster packs, one uh, Greninja, uh, Black Star Greninja foil card, 65 sleeves, 45 energies, and all the usual stuff with the dice and the doohickers. So, we're going to skip all the lame stuff and get right into it now. I'm excited. There's a lot of stuff I want. I like how they have, like, the Mega Rayquaza. They have the throwback... There's some Delta Species cards in here. There's the OG set stuff. There's a, a whole lot of crazy... And also there's like another Black Star. Like the big Black Star in here is the uh, Umbreon. Which is pretty cool. And we have the set list thing here. Which I'll show in a second. And this one just says train on. So there's nothing too crazy inside. Just have the Pikachu design that they use for anniversary stuff. So put that there. Before I get into that, I'm going to point it down and give us a little run through the set if you're not familiar already this is the rephrase i was talking about actually right there bam they change it by having like that on the corner little pikachu to symbolize it's from this set and everybody remembers the x-ball mewtwo one of the busted things i ran that deck for a little bit back in the olden days too it just uh it did big damage but uh, let's skip all this stuff and get to the extra pika i love it he's fat and adorable i love it I love it, I love it, I love it. So we have these. I like these arts a lot. They're pretty nice looking. And then, of course, we have the Pikachus. They have a full art OG Pikachu art, which I love. That's so cute. And then, we, of course, we have the VMAX version of Surfing and Flying Pikachu, which just look hilarious. And then you can see here, these ones are more of their uh, original cards. And as we get through, we see, like, another big money card is the Shiny Mew. We've got the full art Professor uh, Professor's Research with Oak on it. Got see the original starters and like Dark Gyarados and all that good stuff. Rocket Zapdos. Even got the birthday Pikachu, which uh, it's probably going to hold some value on it just because. But obviously, since it's a reprint, it's not going to be crazy like the original. Got the uh, EX cards from like Gen 4 ish and all that. Like Garchomp. I love this Garchomp art. It's one of the OG. I love that. There's the Black Star Umbreon that I was talking about. That's worth a lot of monies. And then I actually have the, I pulled this Zekrom on camera in a video way back out of the Zekrom figure box from, uh, that I bought years after the fact. I opened it here probably a year or two ago, and I probably, eh, probably three years now I think about it. And I pulled that out of the box, which is super cool. So these are cool. I wouldn't mind having the restaurant to go with it, even though I know it's a different one. And I like this or crazy, I... That art in particular, it's alright, because it's just the, like, it's just the mega the mega rep for the mega pokemon cards i wouldn't mind it but i'm not too crazy about it i mean i already have it i'd like to have it just because it's a crazy but there's other cool stuff in here that i'd rather have because that one is more recent that's not ancient origins i don't think it's probably roaring skies that it was from yeah that sounds right so i'm like i'm I, it's a card that to me is not that old so it isn't not as hype as like the other cards and then we got the cool dice i like the little set on there I, I feel like this is kanji for something, maybe 25 years or something, good luck, what have you. Um, I guess the Greninja is probably in here somewhere. Yeah, probably over here. We got these guys which feel real nice. I like, again, I always say I like what they did with them, they're real nice now. 
Got the energies I'm gonna put to the side because we don't need to worry about that. Black Star Greninja, which is really cool. I thought they brought it back. It was a shiny one. With Pokey Power, Shadow Knife. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may put one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Pretty neat. You can't have one more than one Black Star Pokemon in your deck. And we got Mist Slash. I love how it's a new Pokemon, but in the retro style. I love that. Mist Slash, this, Pokemon, uh, this attack isn't affected by weakness or resistance by any of your Pokemon's active Pokemon. So, cool. Not bad. So, that's going to be set over here to be put in a sleeve and put into my doohickey. I'm keeping the secret, secret card. The Elite Trainer, the um, color card because uh, greedy. But we're going to use the sleeves here. Let's pull it out. I'm going to pull out just a couple so I can have it ready. And I'm going to actually go through the old packs before we get into the celebration packs just to get those out of the way. So the main course. Oh, I just noticed I had the starters on these. Look at that. That's cute. Uh, just so we get those out of the way. So we we get to the cool stuff and we, you know, we finish with the cool stuff instead of the crazy stuff. Or the, the stuff we've probably seen already before more recently. So these guys sit back here. We got Darkness of Blaze. Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain, and Battle Styles. A little sad that there's no Evolving Skies, but it is what it do. Um, I'll go with these packs. These are the newer packs first. Archers of Blade, I'll set back just because I have... Here, I'll open one in the beginning and one in the end. How about that? There we go. So, lead with Darkness of Blaze. Can we get some spicy Charizard goodness? Which will blow people's minds. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. Cool. That's fine. Okay, so I put the energy at the front by accident, it doesn't matter. So we get that out of the way. Vanillish. Shenonic, Ursa Rig, More Lull, Toxel, Skitty, Rowlet, Wishy Washy, Reverse Galarian Darmanitan, and we got a Hip Powdon. Hip Powdon's pretty cool. Hinting that we're going back to Gen 4, if you didn't know the remakes. Spoiler alert. I'm guessing nobody knew about that because I had the inside info. Not like the games are releasing in about a month or so. Totally not that. Okay, so we've got Vivid Voltage. Put Code Card down there. And Loudred. Memory Capsule. Go Goat. Pick it back. Shootle. Look at him, he's so cute. Timmy Turner looking. <laughs> Riolu. Chimeco. Ninkata. Drone Rotom. That's actually. Have I seen this art before? I feel like I haven't actually seen this card before. Your opponent reveals their hand. If they do, look at the top card of your opponent's deck. All right, that's neat. I like it. I like how Rotom is just doing everything nowadays. And we got an Aegis slash V. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's something. So he's already starting off with something neat. Add to the back. I'll set that over here. Now we have Chilling Rain. Chilling Rain's pretty neat. I haven't opened too much of it, but I've had a lot of good luck with it and the little that I have. So let's see if that continues. So we got uh, Peonia, Fire Roses and Gloves, we got Abominable, Venipede, Bound Sweet, Falling on the Ground, we got Lapras, Butzel, Aeron, Reverse Honey, Draw a card for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon V. Kind of situational, but uh, it's cute. And we got a Volcarona. Cool. Volcarona. I like Volcarona. Now, here's a surprise code card for Chilling Rain. Let me know what you get. If you get something cool, I'll um, be happy for you. Hurry up. You better pause. You better have already done it. Because I like to do this code cards where you just don't know. And there you go. Battle Styles. Again, same thing with Chilling Rain. I haven't opened too many Battle Styles, but I have pulled some cool stuff in what I have opened. So, let's see if we can continue that. I'd tell you what the cool stuff is, but I generally don't remember. I know I pulled a full art of that green-haired lady that I starts with a C that I forget the name of. I don't know why I just suddenly forget now, but we got more Pico in his hangry state. Tool Jammer. Bruxish. Ugh. Whorefish. Yeah. Skyderbug. Cubone. Murkrow. Tap Pig. Look at him. He need fire. He's ramming and combustion. And then Fan of Waves. And we got a Primate. Cool, cool, cool. Fan of fanning. And we're finishing off that part, or this part of the video, with Darkness of Blaze. Again, can we get the Zard that chars? Get it? Because he, he's a Charizard. 
and he's a lizard and he chars because fire get it it's very funny gross tower steeny Dedene, ducklet carablast galarian darumaka lavatar looking all innocent and cute nicket reverse copper yaw and i'm gonna sell gore with the, with the lips the lips all right uh, I'll stop these bad boys over here so I can make room for the actual cool stuff, which is our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 celebrations packs. Before I get in the Here's a Shining uh, uh, Darkness Ablaze pack, if you get something cool, let me know. If not, I understand. Typing's hard. Comments are take a lot of work. But uh, take that before we get into the good stuff. All right. Now, here we go. First pack got four additional cards so there's not much to really grab onto here and i don't want to harm the cards in the pack so i don't know which way is which and i'm assuming all the code cards are the same so i'm just going to go with how they are so we got zekrom dialga garchomp and we got a hollow mew cool we got the garchomp the og garchomp look at that with i think i had this back in the day too maybe I had a bunch of cards in back. That's back when I didn't know what any of the game meant. It was just nonsense to me. But uh, <laughs> I remember I we would just mix up a bunch of cards in the box and just pick out a Pokemon and battle that way. And I had a Infernape X, level X, that I'd always try to get because it was the one that did the most damage. Because we we didn't know we didn't use energies any of that nonsense. We just randomly did it as as you know as kids do. Nothing makes sense, and I'd always try to get that one because I think the only one who could counter it. I think they had a Waylord too, that since it was a Water type would beat the, the Infernape. But uh, yeah, and luckily the, I also the guy was in the sleeve. I think most of them were in sleeves too, so the cards weren't really messed up. But you know we're kids. I guarantee you all those cards are all lost to time now. But uh. We're leading with a uh, Yveltal. I love him. Groudon. Lugia. And we got a Surfing Pikachu. Hell yeah. I love it. He looks so cute and chunky. That's why I kind of hope I get the big boy too. Because I love it. I love the... It's just goofy looking. I love it. And we got Lugia. My boy. My boy. Speaking of Lugia and Gen 2. I just bought a legit... Uh, Soul Silver after losing mine years ago. I don't know what hell happened to that card. It's just vanished, gone, reduced to atoms. But I got a legit copy now, and I'm ready to play through that again. And actually, while I have it here, I can pair these with my original. So this is the one I had from a kid. You can tell by how beat up and ugly it is. But yeah, this one right here. And then actually, while we're talking about generations, I got a Pokemon Yellow I bought recently too to go with all the Pikachus and stuff. It's been a big renaissance for a Pokemon with me. I've been in my feels about it. And I, I just, I'm happy to share it with you guys. Even if you guys don't really care, if you're just here to see the packs, I completely understand. But I just, I love Pokemon. I love it. It's been there forever. Probably will be forever, honestly. Because it, it's free money. Even if you don't like what they make, Short and Shield sold really, really well. So even if you didn't like those games, <laughs> you're SOL, buddy. You're not killing Pokemon. We got another Lugia. We got a Reshiram. We got, ooh, we got this one. We got the uh, the birthday Pikachu. Hell yeah. It's probably the only version of this card I will ever have. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to go out of my way to find an original one. Because that's really hard to find. Because they're hard to find in good shape. Let alone not written on. Let alone not extremely expensive. But I'll take this as a close. Hey, you got it. And of course we got Solgaleo or... Solgaleo, whatever you want to pronounce. I say it both ways, really. I'm just weird that way. I mean, both of them make sense. Solgaleo and Solgaleo, because it's like Solar Leo. Uh -huh. I just call him Ray after my cat, Sun Ray. If you've been to the channel for a long time, you'll know about him. Hasn't popped up in a video recently, you know, I try to keep that 16 pound behemoth on a leash, even though I don't actually put him on a leash. I've tried. He just falls over. He, he, he doesn't like walking. <laughs> But he's not fat. He just he just happens to be that big. He's a good boy. So we got good boys. We got another Lugia. We got Ho Oh. We got Kyogre. And we got Lunala. So nothing crazy out of that one. Alright, alright. 
Uh, I'm going to pause, take a sip of water, because all this talking's killing me. All right, let's go. Probably not choking on ice back here. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just dumb. Okay. Kyogre. Groudon. Cosmoum. And Professor's Research. I like that he's going over the card because he's taking his notes. I like that. I didn't actually notice it until I saw the card in my hand. I, uh, Pokemon knows how to do sets, man. Yu-Gi-Oh! could really learn a thing or two from Pokemon. Really, really, really could. And should. Please, for the love of God. One, two, three, four, five packs in. So we got five packs left. Let's see if we can get that shiny, shiny Mew. Or that Umbreon. Or some of the other awesomely amazing cards in this set we got palkia we got cosmog we got groudon and we got a zamazenta v i'll take it he's pretty cool my favorite is zashin of course because of sword dog and also <clears throat> he's more blue and if you don't know you're gonna know my favorite color is blue and i'm currently dying so i'm taking a sip of water Ugh, I know everybody loves the squeak of a water bottle. Anyway. Next pack. Man, all these code cards are white. I must be pulling really, really lucky. It's not like they're uh, meant to be that way. Okay, we got Lugia again. Cosmog. We got Rocket Admin and the Pikachu! We got the OG Full Art Pikachu. Look at him, he's so cute and Fat, I love them. We've got the Rocket Admin. I think that's from the, the Rocket sets, of course. I like how they actually have the proper set numbers for them. From the sets they were actually from. I think that's a nice touch. Instead of just making them all this set, there are actually references to the OG, which I appreciate a lot. I think that's, I think that's cool. And I got one of the Pikachus I wanted. I got two of the Pikachus I wanted. Just because, look at it. I love the, the full art. It's just great. It's one of those things that we should have got from Evolutions, but didn't. So. Let's uh, open this. We get third to last pack. We got two packs left after this one. We got Yveltal, Xerneas, Ho-Oh, and a full art professor's research. Hell yeah. Look at Oak. He's such a handsome old man. Like, where we started from, the OG professor. Can't remember his grandson's name for the life of him. But that is going in the pretty binder. Right into his sleeve. Look at that. Look at that. I'm getting a pile of goodies over here. Got a, a lot of organizing after this set. Um, set all these cool guys up here. Reset. Last two packs. If you haven't already, leave a like down below. Let's subscribe for more content like this. And... You can go so you don't miss the second one that I open here. So I'll try to upload fairly quickly afterward. I, I'll probably wait a couple days at least just so, you know, I need to have content, man. <laughs> Kyogre. Yveltal. Groudon. And we got Mew again with Mysterious Tail. Cutie Pie. That's our last pack of the set. Can we get some busted crazy? I mean, we kind of got some cool stuff as is. But can we reach even further and get that shiny Mew? Or anything like that, or even that uh, that spooky, scary Umbreon. Let's see. We got Dialga, Kyogre. We got the full art and the Pikachu again. But we got the full art Reshiram with the sparkly goodness to go with my Zekrom. I have both now, even though they're technically from different sets. Oh my goodness gracious! Look at that hollow. But man, I'll take that. That is a strong finish in my book. And we got another fat Pikachu. Look at him. He's fat. He fat. He's gonna gnaw you in Thunder Drone. I love it. He's chunky. Chunky. But this restaurant will go great with my Zekrom from the original set. So holy Jesus, guys. I'm just gonna do a quick run through. I'm not gonna say anything so you can't just skip ahead and see what I got. Ha ha ha. That, that's pretty cool. I'm hyped. I'm hyped for this because I have a second box, like I said. So I'm excited for that. And just for that, I'll give you guys a code card here at the end. Reward you for staying this long. So I know it's gonna be a kind of long video. A lot of people, oh, I get it. Here's watch to see what cool happens, but I appreciate those who actually take the time to watch, and I will reward you as much as I can. So here are the celebrations, and you know what? I'll give you a second one 
just end the video so you guys get something cool and let me know if you don't i hope you pull what you want i hope you pull something great and i hope you have a good day and if you like what you see like i said leave a like down below and subscribe for more content like this pokemon Yu Gi Oh with figure reviews sprinkled in between and i've been the one rowling Raiko, and i will see you guys next time